What is going on, Jeromes? So we know that Justin Jefferson is the alpha wide receiver one in the National Football League, uh, watching a potentially generational uh, talent, and it's beautiful. It's, it's fantastic. Keep him a purple long term. Make him the highest paying non quarterback in NFL history. Don't care. The reigning defending offensive player of the year, MVP finalist, and all that stuff. And he is beloved. Uh, kids do the gritty all over the place. He's a commercial juggernaut as well. And he is the face of not only the franchise, uh, but also the National Football League. Then you have Jar Alexander. So across the river, uh, you have a cornerback in Jar, who, by the way, has 700000 in uh, workout bonuses. For the offseason. Like that, that's how much it takes for him to be dedicated to his team in the offseason, wh- wh- whatever. But, you know, the pride of Louisville, who I liked a lot coming out, but now I have to dislike him with the fury of a thousand suns. Like he, he is so unfocused that he's blurry. Mm Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, Jarrett always feels like he needs to inject himself into the conversation. And, you know, he, he doesn't talk much about what happened week one last year against the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers, where Justin Jefferson at historic U.S. Bank Stadium put up nine catches for a buck 84 and two touchdowns, which is which is good, which is pretty good on 10 targets. This is basically the game that broke Aaron Rodgers. He, he just quit. He's just done after that. Mm. Uh, and then you have uh, the, the later season matchup where you know, the Packers uh, decide to triple team Justin Jefferson, both safeties over the top, uh, and then Jar, for whatever reason, on second and 10 in the first quarter, just did the gritty all up in Jefferson's face. Even though it was an off-target back shoulder throw by Kirk, uh, Jar really had nothing to do with uh, it being incomplete. Also, he had safety help over the top, but he just uh, decided to, that, that was a spot. That was, that was a spot to gritty, right? And, and everyone, all the national media to run haircuts were like, oh, ho, ho, ho. it's just so stupid, man. Uh, what's even more stupid is, so Jar Alexander was interviewed by uh, Pete Prisco, uh, who, CBS Sports, which, I don't know, how's Will Levis working out, Pete? Stop try, trying to stir things up, man. But he interviewed Jar and he asked about Justin Jefferson. And Jar said, uh, JJ thought he was going to come in there grittying, but I was the one gritting. First off, Keep my receiver's name out your mouth. That's all I got to say. But you know, Jefferson, he, he took the high road, but he did respond to Jar Alexander's comments when he was on CBS Sports. He said this, quote, Nobody's really worried about Jar. Uh, it just goes to show you the amount of attention that, that he was trying to give me. You can't call a 180-yarder a fluke. Uh, again, that's a reference to this game. Nailed it. Mm. Uh, you can't call 180 yard a fluke. That's something that's not a fluke. You can't just walk up on 180 yards in the National Football League. And yeah, so I, I understand what Jar was doing here. So J- Jar does not have the talent of Justin Jefferson, even though he is a solid cornerback, respect, uh, but he's not on JJ's level. So what happens is it's very similar to Cortland Finnegan, where Finnegan was an okay cornerback, but it, he, he talked trash incessantly trying to get into the receivers' heads. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes receivers took the bait, like Andre Johnson, but mm. uh, but I, I respect. Uh, I see what Jar is doing here. Like he's trying to start up, uh, start up tr- uh, talking junk and try and get JJ on his level, which he is not. Uh, and you know Justin Jefferson, he took the high road here. So yes, he. You know, got in a couple shots, stood up for himself, didn't completely ignore uh, Jar, which, I mean, certainly is a, is his prerogative, but ultimately took the high road, didn't stoop down to Jar's level, which is also a height joke, so, and also a Pete Prisco height joke, uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. And we, we all know what's going on. We, we all know exactly what is going to happen this year in the two matchups at historic U.S. Bank Stadium at Lambeau. Uh, Justin Jefferson uh, on October 29th is going to turn Jar Alexander to a pumpkin fitting for Halloween. And then December 31st, uh, for all acquaintance be forgot, Jar needs two safeties over the top to do anything. And he ain't going to get it. It's okay. JJ 2K is going to be in full effect. In fact, I would love, I would love it if Jefferson uh, crests 2,000 yards uh, week 17 against the Packers, which not in one game, which would be a record, but yeah, for the season. Just get it done, man. But uh, again, we we know what the score is. I, I think everyone else knows what the score is, and it's okay. It's perfectly okay. But your thoughts are thoughts. Justin Jefferson responds to Jair Alexander's trash talk. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.